I am Dr. Sridevi Hekte and I have set up this Department of Medical Genetics in the year 1998. It is one of the oldest departments in the country with uh, excellent clinical services and the state-of-the-art diagnostic genetic lab. It's unique because we have all the services under one roof, including the prenatal testing facilities and the labs here. And also we have the specialities connected with the genetic disorders like pediatrics, pediatric neurology, pediatric endocrinology, adult medicines, etc. So the patients don't have to run from place to place. We see a lot of conditions. Genes are responsible for most of the disorders except infectious diseases. We see children with developmental delay, autism, epilepsy or seizures and uh, congenital abnormalities or birth defects and sometimes parents come because they have had two or more children affected and they are really worried whether they will be able to have a normal child or not and so and also pregnant ladies who come with high risk for Down syndrome after screening or they've gone through an ultrasound scanning and they found that their fetus is having some abnormalities and they're worried whether they should continue the pregnancy, what is happening, whether the fetus will be normal, the baby after delivery will be normal. So we help these patients by doing a clinical assessment or diagnosis and the relevant test, genetic test. And once the test results are available, we counsel these patients, telling them about the condition, how did it happen, whether it's a familiar condition, it's inherited, are the parents carriers, will it recur again, what about the other family members. So we explain all this and give them the information so that the patients can make an informed choice about what they would like to do. The tests which we do over here include the old-fashioned conventional karyotyping, fish results and also the latest modern diagnostic tools which includes something like chromosome microarray, next generation sequencing where we look at about almost 5,000 genes and we also have specialized gene panels like epilepsy panel or muscular dystrophy panel or a cancer panel. So we do these tests based on the clinical diagnosis and once the diagnosis and the lab tests come, we interpret both and do a correlation between the physical manifestations and the genes which are abnormal and then we counsel the patients and explaining to them what exactly is the problem and how to go about it. Supposing a child comes with epilepsy, nowadays most of the patients, the children, are given a cocktail of anti-epileptic drugs. But when we have done the specific epileptic gene panels and we have found the gene abnormality, like for example, a sodium chan channelopathy defect. And then we give them the specific drugs necessary for that. Sometimes if you give the wrong medicine, if it is for a sodium channelopathy, which is a blocker, so then it will in increase the epilepsy whereas if we give the right medicine then that will prevent the epilepsies from occurring further. So with this kind of a clinical diagnosis combined with the gene test and uh, doing the treatment according to the gene defects for each child it's almost going towards a personalized medicine specific for that child.